Actually, be nuanced. going all in with the anime on this one. You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student.
On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Luffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning! I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself, then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by oh evening. Oh boy, porridge. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Uh, still out on all that. I got a controller in my hand. Oh, like I'd switch to it real quick. I see why that's at the start. Thank you. 
rest up, all right? Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. Keep warm. Sheesh. Loot, loot, anything loot. Come on, there's always money under the bed. What kind of RPG is this? Look like. Glowy. I don't see any glowies. If I'm on the hunt for prickle boars, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine. So I can't mess this up. Smash, want to smash boxes. Cannot smash boxes. Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it! I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Salika taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Sure. Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those... things. It's a nightmare! Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons... They gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafayette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest. I think. Aw, oh, 
that too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafisette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit. But still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Lafie all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says, Battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Still showing on the map, I already got it. The Demon Blight is a punishment sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. I saw a group of dozens of demons real close to town. If they attack, we're done for. I think we should run now while we can. Run? To where? There are demons everywhere in Midgand. We have nothing to worry about. My brother Arthur can protect the ball. Arthur, huh? They say he used to be one of those exorcists who could control Malachim. And only exorcists can defeat demons. Yeah, we've all heard the fairy tales. So have all the swindlers who pose as exorcists to con honest folk out of their gold. Hey! Arthur isn't like that! If he was a real exorcist, why didn't he protect Selica when the demons attacked? That's because... Luffy and I... we... Besides, Arthur is just an outsider who drifted into our village one day. We don't know anything about his past. Then you must think we're outsiders too. Our parents weren't from here either. Uh, back to business. We need to deal with these demons. You're right. We've got to defend our village ourselves. That's what it comes down to. Save the dreaming about exorcists and Malachim for when we're asleep.
This area looks promising. how it's done. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkleboars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Pigglebore? Yeah, Pigglebore! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. Know your foes and strike where they're weak. Is that all? This should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. 
there right after I checked out this thing over here. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. Gonna be nothing here, and I'm gonna be annoyed that I wasted my time. I can already sense it. Something. Not much of something, but a something. I thought it was a glowy. Hide them under plants. Shady. Go back to town and it's everybody's dead. Right, here goes. So thingy goes low. Sparkly, sparkly. Wait, the boars I hunted, are you there? Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle.
An exorcist art! Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. <sighs> Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think... I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? To get high? I don't mean to pause. How do I unpause? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Laffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. For groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sail on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? 
Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. Matthew must be starving by now. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road! <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms! Would it make more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm... No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Laffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good.
course. Turn around and see a thing right after I buy a thing that's for the same slot. Hi, Selica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh. You really can talk to Malakim, can't you? Yeah. Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Luffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Luffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. 
Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Celica is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what's so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? Potato. Oh, I'm trying to cook. I don't care about the coughing kid. I'm hungry. Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, duty. and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you, too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Good boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. And the Fire Nation attacked. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Laffy? You little... Where have you gone? You better 
not have gone to the village alone. Ah, uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Luffy set been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wait! That's one of Arthur's! Actually, it's a copy that Luffy set made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? <sighs> I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet, I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. I know. He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me, just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely.
I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Remember how we went out together to pick Princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right, because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what princessia flowers signify? Uh, Dead people an talking irreplaceable you. treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. How about I make you some apple boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? Yeah. When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo! Right, here goes! Is that all? Right, here goes! Is that 
all. Right, here goes! these. <sighs> this place never changes, does it? It does two change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well... If they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh... A demon! Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Why is a demon here? Hey, I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too! But please, go! Arthur said, but I have to do this! Stop! Face me, demon! Jennifer. Bitch, your hair a mess. Get home. Velvet! Luffy, you're all right. Ah, sorry, 
It's all my fault. No. If you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Scarlet Knight? What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. No. The village. Can't go this way. Give up! Never give up! Why is a demon here? Sentiment to cast off. Velvet, run! Arthur! Saw the heel turn coming a mile away. Here, once, was the seal to the underworld. Looks brother. like a villain. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lafayette's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying?
him go. This is an offering to the world. Why would you... Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you will not change. Ever a slave to emotion. A demon that feeds on demons. Arthur. Atherian. Take a look around. <laughs> Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur... I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear.
The end. Game over. I will. I will make you pay. Keeping it on high. So did my world come to an end. And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. Where is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Turn like a sun! Turn like a sun! Burning wing! Ha! If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. holding back you noticed well done you pass of course his Moloch would never be so weak as that I am his Moloch no longer <sighs> first let me tell you what has transpired these past three years 
There are exorcists now throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find Mine. him in the capital city of Logris in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons, Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafayette. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. Close ray me? That don't look like a raggedy bitch. Is that what she's doing? I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. Nope. Just letting us out. Need the closed transformation beam. You will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. I don't get to just use the berserk hand thing. The special occasion, kind of like the combining technique in the last game. Use Asteria or whatever the fuck. I think this is supposed to take place in the same world. Maybe different times, but same world, something like that. I don't know. I just know when the anime no came out, the they had an episode that was this. That. Take what you need from here. Basically, this part of it. Well, let's start with spears. How about that? It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Storm Howl, what is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not uh. taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless.
All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? Be careful. He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Even yet, I saw treasure in that corner. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. the corpse. Wrong way. This is the wrong way, ain't it? Yeah. What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malachim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Moloch family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it? I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> right way. So I'll go over here. That looks like it's locked, but... Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks? Under the watchtower? A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists, break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. EDA. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm 
This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Blazes are you? Rick James, bitch. Here I come. Yeah. That should do it. to every cell we're getting off this island what the hell you serious split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates break through the gates and you'll have a ship but aren't they guarded by exorcists i mean that pirate von eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here and he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? And Melchior? I won't force you! You want to rot in here? Then rot! I'm with you! Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it! I'm going home to my family! Me too! Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl! Rogues like us are always I'm up for I'm sick a of the slop they feed us! Ceres. We'll murder those exorcists! Open all the doors! That ought to draw the attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. You're not going to escape? Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing? Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the abbey joined forces with the kingdom of Midgand. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure, until they get fed to me. 
Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Malachim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. Not a word of apology? who travels the Eleven Seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons! None other than the acclaimed, the illustrious, Magikigikambi Ludindo Dindo Larundu! Magilu for short. Magilu? No, Ma, like Soggy Shoe or Doggy Do, or call me any of those things and I'll turn you into a froggy stew! <sighs> <sighs> I suppose you'll never understand. People can be so tragically unlearned. But hey, like I care! Hey, man. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it.
Neat. Huh. The ring has anything special on it. More? This one. He's a demon! Get ready! Sure, yes. Turn like a See this? Deception! <laughs> You're not human. Neither are you. <laughs> True enough. Hold up! <laughs> See this? <laughs> Burning wing! <laughs> Burning wings! He's strong. Chips in the blades already. <laughs> Brittle, these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? <sighs> You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry. Stormhell. Could that demon be... What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. <sighs> oh, except for you. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. That's a racist. Sounds like it worked. Let's find that tower. Don't waste my time. What? Sure, 
We're finished here. Let's hurry on. Getting out of here comes first. The tower should be just ahead. They've got the gate to the docks locked down. We can't break through. We've just about quelled this riot! You won't be getting away! was surprisingly easy. The prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. I like the healing. The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? 
He fell further than this back at the shrine. I see you are truly committed to this. <laughs> You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? That's Hunter x Hunter. Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. So the chains that are so powerful. So you only work on the spider gang. We're finished here. Let's go. Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. We're almost there. That's enough. Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No, I'm acting on my own. A Moloch with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is, then. Lord Artorius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? Tiger Fang! 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 Tiger
boost one. <laughs> With one hit before I needed your skill. Then. I will have to expend a Moloch or two for this. of your vaunted reason. are fatal. Please, consume me. Uh, I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. I'm in the I cannot quench no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Luffy's. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry. Before my life fades. Do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. are one and the same. I treasured those days. When you and I and Arthur were together.
happening? Move! If you don't... I'll eat you! Absorb that Moloch's power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon! Stop moving into it. Using that thing it told me to use was pretty detrimental. Thanks for that game. Absorb that Moloch's power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon! Better this time. Got 
Apologies, but I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet. That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. Eat the dragon. Yeah. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon. Moloch. And exorcists alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Stormhowl is back in my care. Rokuro Rangetsu, at your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt, one I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. Hmm. So, you defeat an enemy, you get it back. So diversify, then specialize. That's what I got out of that. 
as crummy as I am. Careful. Sea's looking mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy? Welp, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! I'm coming for you, Artorius. Mad, though. Luffy said a Moloch. Ah! Stay back. Demon Muncher, you really are a box of horrors, aren't you? Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. <laughs> You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry, long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. <laughs> you ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? And if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your Luckily, plans it's not once you reach Logos? Something worth breaking out of prison for. Jeff! <gasps> oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tails to warm the heart? There's a city called Helavis nearby. I can't promise they're much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. I need to find a save point because my cat needs attention. Yes, thank you for teaching me about experience points. Velvet, you know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Ah! Uh, I can 
consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. Magilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me! You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement! Your words cut deeper than these northern winds! <laughs> All right, I think it's about time for a break. It's been like over two hours, almost two and a half hours. So yeah, I think it's a good time for a break. Plus my cat wants attention. <laughs> 